Hello, and welcome to GlideFast Share the Wealth. Today, we'll be talking at a high level about GRC IRM's new Utah feature for policy compliance application and common controls. As it has stood previously, you would be only able to do standard controls where you tie the entity type to the control objective or vice versa. The entities within that entity type would then create that one-to-one -one relationship with the control derived from the control objective as you see here. However, this can become tedious, especially if all the controls buy by the same attestations for those controls. This is where common controls come into play. Here you see a standard control converting into a comma control via this function arrow, which we will dive into more in greater detail in the demo. This now common control can now have what's called a reliant entity type and a reliant entity. This way, you will only have to attest to the control once and have it roll into each of these entities. So let's look at how this works in the ServiceNow Compliance Workspace. Now we are in the Compliance Workspace in ServiceNow. I'll begin by going into the list view and searching to my controls. Earlier, I talked about the function arrow, and this is the new field that came in Utah release where you can choose between a standard and converting it to a common control. So, Let's dive into a control that a standard control. Here is the overview of the control, but if we want to change it to a common control, we will go to more actions to convert to common. And here it'll double check to see if we want to convert it to common to where it will allow us to add reliant entities. Once we successfully convert it to a common control, these two new related lists will appear saying reliant entities and reliant entity types. So there are two ways to adding a reliant entity, and that's via this add button to look at your whole list of entities, or if we know the control objective and we only want to look at a finite amount of controls or entity, reliant entities, we can click this add from existing control. To which I will choose the San Diego and London office to add. Here, you'll now see that the reliant entities of the San Diego office and the London office are now added as reliant entities. Now, if we wanted to add a entity type, we can do so here, hitting the add button. And for the sake of the demo, let's add business applications. And you'll start to have your reliant entities come in through from that entity type. This added from entity type is a great way to differentiate how these reliant entities have come in the first place. Once you relate all of your reliant entities and reliant entity types, you can now move forward with attesting the comma control, which will roll up into each of these reliant entities that are tied to it. You have now seen how to convert a standard control into the comma control. Final things to note is that this will only work in the workspace as well as you can only relate Reliant entities if the controls are in either draft state or a test state. Thank you for watching our Share the Wealth surrounding the newest Utah feature and policy compliance application for GRC IRM. If you wish to learn more about our GRC IRM practice, feel free to reach out to anyone on our team and we'll route you to the Center of Excellence for GRC IRM. Be sure to like and subscribe to be on the lookout for our next GRC IRM video in relating common controls to your risk register. Thank <laughs> you.